Some think of social indexing as social tagging or social bookmarking, in which you bookmark your favorite websites, popular blog posts, or even news alerts. Hein Online is now looking at social indexing from a scholarly perspective, bringing to you for the first time in a digital environment the concept of viewing most cited law review articles. Never before have you been able to search for law review articles and be able to determine the overall influence or impact an article had on your research topic until now. In Hein Online's Law Journal Library, you can run a search for right to privacy, for example, view your results, and see how many times each result is cited by other scholarly law review articles. Let's take a look at this research approach in action. Let's find all articles that are relevant to the right to privacy. To do this, we will search for the term right to privacy across all titles in the Law Journal Library. We'll open our field search, and a right to privacy, select title, and click on phrase. We will get a number of results here with this search. As we scroll through our results, you'll notice the cited by links listed in some of the search results. These links indicate that that specific article has been cited by that number of other articles, so in this case cited by 424 articles. So we can scroll through and find the well-known article titled Right to Privacy by Warren and Brandeis. This article is cited by over 2,800 other articles in Hein Online. We can click on this link to view the list of the 2,800 plus articles that cited their article. Now, to focus in on a specific topic, for example, the Supreme Court case involving New England life insurance that discusses the privacy issue, we can click on search within these results and search for keywords within those 2,800 articles that cited Warren and Brandeis's article. So, for example, we can enter text, colon, open quote, New England life insurance, end quote, into the search box and then click search. This will narrow our 2,800 articles down to just over 400 articles that discuss this Supreme Court case. Scrolling through our results, let's look at the article from Volume 28 of the Montana Law Review, entitled, Right of Privacy, Knowing or Reckless Falsity in Publication Required to Sustain Liability Under New York Right of Privacy Statute. As we read the context of this specific article, the author, William Carl, backs up Warren and Brandeis' argument by citing several cases from the English Report's full reprint series, allowing us to look back at the privacy issues from the 1600s and the 1700s, something that we've never previously been able to do. And we can link directly to these cases and continue researching privacy issues amongst early English cases in Hein Online. This concept of social indexing being brought to you in Hein Online using citation analysis and linking truly illustrates how Hein Online is a modern link to legal history.